This is the oldest cherry blossom tree in the world right now. And this cherry blossom tree went to space. Okay, so I've just arrived at Otsuyama Jisoji. Originally, I only planned to come here because I wanted to see the biggest and the oldest cherry blossom tree in the world. But there's a story here that I just can't wait to tell you because it's blown my mind. <laughs> So I'm kind of out in like the middle of nowhere in Yamanashi, like very, very countryside, countryside. I don't know why, I just wasn't expecting there to be that many people here, but it is very, very busy. And there is the space sakura. So the story goes, back in 2008, there was a Japanese astronaut named Koichi Wakata and he was going up to the International Space Station with NASA. So with him, he took over 200 cherry blossom seeds from 14 different areas all around Japan. And some of those seeds were from the oldest cherry blossom tree alive. So he went up to the International Space Station. He was up there for about eight months. When he came back down to Earth, he gave a lot of the seeds to like a research lab, but then the rest of them, he pretty much returned them back to where they were sowed from so that they could be planted again. Again, including this place right here. But then some very strange things started happening. So normally after you've planted a cherry blossom seed it'll take a full 10 years before it even starts to bloom. So you could imagine everyone's surprise when the space sakura started blooming after only four years of growing. Another very weird strange phenomenon that started happening is normally this variety of cherry blossom tree only has five petals per flower but this tree has six petals and nobody knows why. It's very difficult to see because it's quite far away. I don't think I can personally see any flowers with six petals, but I will take their word for it. I just noticed something else that I read about online is that normally the flowers will be kind of facing up towards the sun, but these flowers are all facing down. Very strange. And still, nobody knows why. A plant physiologist said that one guess could be that exposure to stronger cosmic rays accelerated the process of sprouting and overall growth, but from a scientific point of view, we can only say that we don't know why. So I guess this tree is now about 14 years old. Uh, I don't know what I thought like a 14 year old cherry blossom tree would look like, but this is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like tiny, piddly, just a few flowers left kind of tree, but no, it looks very healthy, very, very, very big tree. Ow. One of my favorite facts about this story is that uh, it actually wasn't even conducted really for scientific purposes. It was more just like a fun way to get kids interested in science and space, to teach them how to sow seeds and then just to see what would happen if they sent the seeds to space. But because it wasn't really scientific, there wasn't any control that they did. So they can't really say for sure, like it's not like an official scientific experiment, but from what we can see from this variety of cherry blossom tree and other seeds sown from the same plant, uh, yeah, the results are obviously very abnormal. There were some experts that were skeptical of the results, saying that it could have been pollinated by a different variety, which is why the flowers are unusual, and that there could have been other factors in place to explain their early blooming. But personally, I like to believe that the space sakura will forever be a mystery. <laughs> but aside from space sakura trees and mysteries of the universe that we'll never know about, this cherry blossom tree is the oldest and largest sakura tree in the world. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought that it was gonna be like still the largest cherry blossom tree, like living, but I guess it, I guess it was the largest cherry blossom tree like back in the day. Now it's just the oldest. That is a thick trunk though, very thick trunk. It's called Jindai Zakura, which just translates to giant cherry blossom tree. It stands at 10.3 meters high, and they don't know exactly how old it is, but it's estimated to be between 1,800 and 2,000 years old, which would make it the oldest in Japan and maybe even the world. Yeah, it says here that it like, it used to be a lot taller and a lot wider, but then it's like sustained damage in recent years because of changing environment and things like that. So they're like trying their best to like prop it up with all these big sticks and like keep it all bound together so that it doesn't like split any further. It's still incredibly impressive. <laughs>
how is mochi so so good i don't understand so um my brother came to visit japan the other day the first time he like we walked past a cherry blossom tree and he just like he goes oh this is nice and he just goes pick and like picks one of the blossoms off of the tree and me and chris were just like what have you done <laughs> but that reminds me uh the other day chris and i were in the park just taking photos I know, adorable. We saw, like, we're taking photos of this old man just like sitting on a bench. He looked really like cute and lovely. He gets up and like grabs a whole bunch of cherry blossoms off the tree and he just like starts eating them. <laughs> I, I snapped like a bunch of photos for proof because I was like, no one's gonna believe me if, <laughs> if I tell them this. You know, space mystery cherry blossoms and like the largest cherry blossom, oldest cherry blossom, whatever, all of that stuff aside. This temple, this park, the area, it's so, so, so lovely. Like my whole drive here, uh, I drove here from Osaka yesterday and it was a very long drive, but the whole time I'm just like, I just wanted to stop the car so many times because there's so many incredible cherry blossom spots and oh, it's just the best time of the year. This morning I went to see a cherry blossom tree that I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. I finally ticked it off my list. It's called Sakura Wanitsuke. I ended up staying overnight in the parking lot, like the, the parking guy said like yeah you can stay here that's fine <laughs> it was an okay sunrise but it was it's just like one of the most beautiful beautiful cherry blossoms i've ever seen in my life and the fact that it's like sitting by itself up on a hill just makes it look even bigger and it's surrounded by all these like beautiful tulips daisies i don't know i don't know what kind of flower they are <sighs> and now i've I don't have too many solid plans for the rest of the day. All I know is that tomorrow morning I'm going to be meeting Pat Kay uh, for a sunrise thing. Um, so I just have to be near there at sunrise. Maybe I'll sleep in another parking lot again. That seems to be my new thing. <laughs> and now I get to go see Mount Fuji with cherry blossoms. Yeah. <laughs> I will get to the travel portion of this video, but first I need to talk about this video sponsor, which is Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co, which are both snack box subscriptions full of over 20 different seasonal Japanese snacks that change every month. Sakura Co supports local Japanese artists and snack makers with more traditional style snacks, whereas Tokyo Treat is full of up to 20 of the latest seasonal snacks that you can only find in Japan for a limited time, with Sakura Co even including tea and a special Japanese tableware. Inside each box is an information pamphlet that describes each snack, plus a cultural guide to learn all about the theme of that month, which for Tokyo Treat is Sakura Starlight Snack Fest, and for Sakura Co is Moonlit Sakura. My childhood. Oh my gosh, I had a small addiction to these snacks. Small? <laughs> <laughs> it's like giving me just a little bit of cocaine. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. So now you can enjoy the magic of cherry blossom season in your own home in the form of delicious snacks. If you'd like to grab a box for yourself or as a gift to someone else, then check out the link in the description and use the code HANA for $5 off either box or the code HANAMI to get bonus items in your Sakura Co box every month for life. Thank you so much for Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video. And now back to the travel. It has been a good while since I've done like a sunrise shoot, you know, like planning to wake up and hike up some stairs to see sunrise at a particular spot. But this is the spot to do it. Like normally for sunrise, there's not really many people here, but it was actually very, very busy this morning. So busy that like they didn't allow tripods. They told us to put our tripods away because there were too many people. Oh, and also Pat K is here and with a whole bunch of other like uh, photographers and videographers and people from Sony. Crazy. How's the new camera? Oh, it's really good. Yeah? Yeah. The usability is really nice. This this thing is actually, oh my god, the switch oh. is so easy. It is a lot oh easier than the god, wheel. It's so <laughs> easy. Oh, he's got a sturdy jacket on. How cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this little deep dive that nobody asked for. I think I'll be doing a lot more of these moving forward because there's just so many interesting things in Japan and I'm really excited to show you them. If you like this video, then you're really gonna like the playlist that you'll see on the end screen in a minute of uh, all of my previous deep dives that nobody asked for. Uh, just a reminder, I still have spots available on my travel with me trip. It's coming up in August. There are two trips available with these dates here. We're gonna be doing a lot of hiking, a lot of outdoors, a lot of seeing temples, walking around, sightseeing, markets, night food, all of that. 
that. There's, a, there's quite a lot of things that we're doing and I really think you're gonna love it. So if you'd like to come on that trip, uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below for both of them. And that is all. Thank you so much. If you like it, like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.